Hello everybody, Miss Jackie Russell here and welcome to my channel and welcome to Spa-tastic Mask Monday. That's right, I'm doing a collab with Laura from Favorites with Laura and Laura has a channel and she is a great friend. She has a great channel actually and we decided to do a Mask Monday collab together. She just recently started Mask Mondays not too long ago and she is doing great with her channel and you guys have to go over and see her we're gonna have a giveaway together today we're gonna have some questions and answers to like eight questions y'all get to know us a little bit more how we got where we are maybe as far as the questions go and today i'm doing the aceology probiotic restoring biodegradable mask and i really like this mask i got this out of my fat fit fun it nourishes it calms and protects so it does a lot of things has some good essence in it and we're going to just let that soak in are you getting your mask on today why don't you join us it feels so good and we really should treat our skin but anyway back to Laura if you don't know her I would highly recommend that you go check her out I think you will like her and want to subscribe regardless of my giveaway oh yeah did I mention we're doing a giveaway we're both doing a spa like giveaway and I'll give you more details on that toward the end of this video. But right now, I just wanna talk about her. She is the sweetest thing. She has a down to earth attitude, I suppose, if that's the right word. She is so personable, it just comes right over out of the screen. And like I said, you will like her regardless of this giveaway. So be sure and go check her out and subscribe because I think you will be really pleased. And many of you probably already know her. But if you don't, I just want to say that I highly recommend and I want to thank Laura for doing this collab today. We have been planning it since last year, I guess toward the end of last year in December. But of course it got, you know, busy Christmas and New Year's and even into January. It's been very busy for both of us. On her channel, you'll find unboxings, you'll find lots of Timu hauls, you'll find Timu reviews, like maybe after she's used things, she'll come back and do a review. She does crafting, she does like what's going on with me, I guess, type videos so that you know more what's going on if she's made changes. She recently decided to make a life change with her work and gave notice and I'm not quite sure what she's going into but I do know that was a major thing and she was real pleased with it but like I said all those things can be found on her channel and she is just a great person and I just love her dearly. I've only known her maybe a few months maybe since she started her channel in April so I probably she joined us on the Dollar Tree train, I want to say back in, I want to say in the fall or maybe the back to school one, but she joined our Dollar Tree train and we will be having one. It'll be coming out next week. It'll be our Valentine's Cupid winter that's coming out next Sunday. So be on the lookout for that. We'll probably start our advertising pretty soon for that. But like I said, she has been a great addition to our little community. And we all love our community. And I just love her. She's just great. But without any further ado, I want to go over these questions that we have so that we can get to know each other better. And number one, and these are some like flashback questions, okay? So we're going way back in time, or at least for me we are. The first question is, what year did you graduate? High school is what I've got down. I don't know what she's gonna say. It could be, what, when did you graduate? period. She may talk about college. I don't know what she's going to talk about. I'm talking about high school. I graduated high school in 1978. I guess you could say I had a great time in school. The next question is, what was your favorite song in high school? And I would have to say my favorite song at that time 
was probably Free Bird by Leonard Skinner or We Are the Champions. I think Queen does that one, I think. Those were two big songs and one of them ended up being our class song, which was Free Bird. I really liked that type of music. I guess the rock, classic rock is what they call it now. Back then, I think it was just rock or rock and roll. I don't know exactly how they identified it in 1978 or 77, whenever all those songs were coming out. The next question is, what jobs did you have in school? My very first job was working at this aluminum factory where they made aluminum doors and windows and things. It was called Talco Aluminum. And I was the accountant's assistant for that and I was trying to work to save up for a car and so I had that job during school hours. I think you got to work a half a day like from noon to five or whenever they closed and then after that on the weekends I worked at a restaurant and waitressed on Saturdays and Sundays. So I kept myself quite busy while I was trying to save up money and the reason I was saving up money was for my first car. My next question is what was your first vehicle and my first vehicle was a <laughs> get this neon green Montego, Mercury Montego. And I'm trying to think the Ford had a version of it of the Gran Torino. So I had the the Mercury version which was Montego and it was a 1973 green Montego. And then the next question number 5 is did you buy your first car? Yes, with some help. And I saved up enough money to have my down payment, and I don't remember how much the car was. I want to say it was just maybe about $1,500 or something, you know, back then. But it was a 73, and it was in 70, I think it was in 77. So I had it, because I had it my whole senior year. So I think I purchased this when I was 16, maybe on the brink of 17, saving up my money, doing those jobs. And I could have been 16. I don't know. I was very ambitious. Anyways, I went, you know, to find a car. I found one I liked. I went to my dad and talked to him about it. And he just, he didn't feel comfortable co-signing the balance, you know, because I could only pay, I don't remember, I think I had $700 saved up. So I was going to have to borrow seven or $800 to, you know, get this car. And he did not feel comfortable with it, and he would not co-sign for me. And so I was really kind of in despair, but I thought, well, okay, I'll go to my uncle. And I went to my uncle Keith, and I told him I had this, you know, car that I had enough money for the down payment, and I could make the payments because I had two jobs, and, you know, it wouldn't be no issue for me to make the payment. The payment was $73.62. I still remember the car payment amount. $73.62. Can you imagine? And of course I had to buy insurance too, which I did, but he co-signed for me. He said, yeah, I'll co-sign for you. You know, and of course he said, you better not miss payment, blah, blah, blah. And I didn't miss one payment. I've not missed any payments my whole life. So, and if I do miss a payment, it's because the bill didn't come to me because I pay all my bills on time. I did not want to pay interest. Like I told y'all before, maybe I didn't, I took all business classes when I was in high school because I didn't know if I'd get to have a full-blown college education. So I focused on business so that I could be, you know, have a job in the workplace doing bookkeeping, accounting, assistant, administrative assistant, whatever it is that they needed me for. So that was my focus. And even when I went into college, I mostly took all business courses. But anyways, the number six question was, what was your first residence when you moved from your home to college? I'm going to have me a drink of coffee. My very first resident was with my high school buddy, and I think we got this right after we graduated, like in May of 78 or that summer. We rented a little two-bedroom, I guess you'd say trailer. It was in a trailer park. It was really nice. It had a big old porch on the front of it. it had two bedrooms, one on each end. We had our own bathrooms and everything, and I want to say our rent was 
I don't know, it might have been $100 a month. I mean, I'm telling you, things were cheap, and this was nice. It wasn't some wore down rinky dink place to live it was a really nice trailer in a nice trailer park in wills point that's where we lived so that was my first place to live when i left home and had my own place and was paying rent and utilities and all that and after i started going to college i moved to dallas and had an apartment there but that was my very first place was with my friend donna donna smith that's her name and it was a nice little place. Anyways, it says, the next question is, how did you meet your husband? Okay, well, I met my husband on a blind date when I was living in that apartment in Dallas. It was actually Garland, Texas. It was where I rented an apartment, and I lived with another friend there from work. Her name was Shannon, and Shannon had this boyfriend named Ed, and Ed was setting up blind dates for his friend Kevin. And I told her, I don't go on blind dates. I don't need to have a blind date. She said, oh, come on, be a sport. Go on a blind date. He's really nice. You'll really like him. And I was like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> so I was kind of nervous about it. And he called me like on January 8th of that year. And it was 1980. And we talked for hours and it seemed like he was just my soulmate, like I knew him forever and I was just talking to him. I didn't know him from the man from the moon, but he just seemed like somebody I knew forever. Our date was January 11th, but I was so nervous about going on a total blind date that he said he would come over the next day, which was the 9th, and introduce himself. And so, you know, I got all dolled up, I guess you'd say, to meet him. I can still remember the sweater I had on. It was a really nice sweater. It had pinks and blues, like triangle little stripes going through it. It was white as the overall thing. Really cute. And of course, back then we wore, I think I was wearing high-waisted jeans, but I don't know. It could have been hip huggers back then. So probably was hip huggers because that was 78, 80, somewhere in there. But anyways, I remember what I had. I had long dark hair then and it was cut like Farrah Fawcett's and it was all ringlet down. And I come out of the bedroom because my friend, you know, let him in. And then I was just totally like not able to talk. I guess I was just so scared about meeting him i was glad to meet him he's very nice looking tall six foot four and he had told me that kind of a sandy blonde hair and he had long hair which i wasn't a fan of long hair so to speak it wasn't my what i'd call my top uh, blonde hair wasn't my top either as far as that goes i like dark haired men with brown eyes but anyways he was blue eyed blonde hair and we sit down on the couch and we wasn't talking and my friend had a French provincial telephone that looked like one of them Paris phones for decor, I guess. And it was so funny. He picked up the receiver and said, hello, Vicki, how are you doing? And I just died laughing. That's how he broke the ice because I wouldn't talk. And so then we just started talking like we had been talking on the phone. And then we just visited and then he came officially on our date on January 11th and we went out with Shannon and Ed and we had a really good time. But that's how I met my husband and we got married on February 23rd of that year. So I met him physically on January 9th, 1980 and married him on February 23rd, 1980, about six weeks. It was a whirlwind romance, is what I would call it. And it was exciting, and I just loved him so much. And like I told y'all earlier, he seemed like my soulmate. And we have been married February 23rd of this year, be 44 years. So, you know, don't say you can't fall in love quickly and be committed for years, because it certainly happened with me. And in the next question, which is number eight and the last one, it says, where was your first home married? And our first home married was in his hometown called Herman, Missouri. And I had never been there, never met his parents, and I married him actually in Durant, Oklahoma. And there's a whole story behind that, but that's where we got married. And then after we got married, we 
quickly soon moved to Missouri on March 6th. So I married him on February 23rd, did all of our final arrangements, getting all of our apartments, leases, and all that taken care of and packed up. And we moved to Herman on March 6, 1980. And when we got there, of course, we didn't have a house just right away, but within a few days, we had a basement house. And I could not figure that out. He said, we're gonna live in Howard Schutz's basement. I was picturing a house on top of a basement and we were gonna live in the basement. And I just, I thought, we're gonna live in a dungeon of somebody's house? I just, I couldn't picture that. And he said, no, no, you'll like it. Just wait and see. He goes, it's private. It will be the only ones there. And I go, really? In a basement? <laughs> so we went to look at it. The rent was $125 a month. It was a three bedroom house, basically underground. It was like built into the ground like a basement would be. And then the front had windows and a door, just like if you had a house. So it was kind of like an earth home because on top, it had, you know, like grass and land growing on top of it. And that's where we lived for $125 a month and three bedrooms. And it was nice, you know. I mean, we're talking about a nice little house for a new married couple to rent. It was very nice. It was, the only thing I didn't like about it was the backside had no windows. So all the bedrooms and the bathrooms on that side were all kind of like gloomy like to me because you didn't have no windows. But utility wise and all that, I mean, very inexpensive to heat and cool an earth home. I guess basically he called it a basement home, but it was probably an earth home back in those days. But that that was our first home together and we had our first child there we had Seth and by the time we had the second child we had moved into a regular house you know that had a regular house and a basement underneath because that's really big in Missouri but we lived in Herman Missouri for 13 years there and that was his hometown and I got to know all of his family and everybody accepted me and loved me and I loved them and it was just great but guys those are our eight questions that we had to answer and I hope I wasn't too long but I just wanted to share all that with you because we're getting to know each other and I've been on here for few years and we're still getting to know each other and some of those things you may not have ever heard but anyways now on to the giveaway now with this giveaway of our spa fantastic happy mass monday we are going to both be doing spa like items and i think what i want you to use for the code word is i would like for you to use spa in a sentence let me take this mask off while we're talking about that this feels really good it's been on for 20 minutes and I want to go ahead and take it off and get some essence on me but use the word spa you must comment on both my videos and Laura's videos in order to be eligible to win and use that code word in mind so that you can win and she may have her own code word I'm not sure how she's going to do that part of it. You must be publicly subscribed to Favorites with Laura and Miss Jackie Russell. YouTube and our any products that we show here are not associated or affiliated with the giveaway. You must be 18 years or older. You must have an address within the continental USA. The items that I have in my bag that I'm going to show you may have things that you could be allergic to, so please test any area on your face, hands, body, whatever I'm sending, to make sure that you're not gonna have an allergic reaction because I'm not responsible for allergic reactions and I'm not responsible for the postman's delivery. I'm going to send it USPS and it will come to you. I'll pack it up really well and send you a tracking number and it's gonna last for one week. So I will choose a winner next Sunday and then I'll announce my winner on next Mask Monday of who wins this. And it's a, a bag full of goodies here and I'm just gonna pull them out and show you and it is spa day, so keep that in mind. The first thing you're going to receive is a 
pumice stone by Pierre Pounce, and it's infused with green tea. So that ought to be really good. You're going to receive a arms toning and soothing sheet mask. You're going to receive a pair of low rise socks with your little toes there to keep them all nice and toasty. And you can also use that like if you put some lotion on your feet, kind of like a little spa day for your feet, okay? You're going to get a facial sheet mask, which is Hello Correct Friends Mask and Hello I'm Watermelon. So this is probably going to be a soothing mask and a brightening mask. It is a Korean mask. You're going to receive this headband for your spa day. You're going to receive, if you win of course, you're going to receive the Avo Bath Sugar Scrub. You're going to receive the Rejuvenating Oil Serum to put on your face after you have put your mask on. And you're going to receive this Pore Refining Face Scrub. And it's by Moody Skin Care. It's got cucumber, peppermint, Castile soap. It's all natural, I believe. Evaporated cane juice. It's got rosemary in it, vitamin E. So this ought to be a great facial scrub. And then for your hair, I'm going to put in this shampoo and conditioner bars. There's one for shampoo and one for your conditioner. And they're little bars that you can travel with or have in your shower. They smell good. They're, oh, I was trying to let y'all smell. It smells good. It smells like flowers. Very very nice and it says on here that it's in the terrace garden floral scent so very nice and then a couple other things i'm going to put in since you're doing a spa day i'm going to throw in this car refreshener that says don't be who they need you to be be who you need to be okay so that's very important keep a positive attitude and then just for a couple of little finish up things I'm going to put in this lipstick, Milani lipstick, in the color, I think that's red. It says it's matte iconic, is what they call it. And I don't know that if it has another color on there, it's just what it called it. And then you're also going to get some fingernail polish. And this is a new formula. I don't know if you say that, Novell, Novella formula, or Novell formula by Revlon and the name of the color of this is Vixen Danger Use so wow but it's a deep like red purpley color looks real pretty probably going nice with this lipstick as you can tell the color on the bottom so those are the things in my giveaway and my face feels really good if you have not used the Aceology facial mask I would recommend them they do have the you know the restoring probiotics in them and it feels really good and I like the way my face feels right now it's all hydrated and moisturized and I probably just made a little more red but that is my giveaway and any other giveaway rules that I didn't mention for some reason will be down in my description I will have a link to Laura's channel in my description as well and you can just pop right on over there and go see her and join in on the fun. And I hope you had an opportunity to do Mass Monday with us because we're having a spa-tastic Mass Monday. And we want you all have fun and be taking care of our skin. It's so important, especially in the winter dry weather. And boy, howdy, it's still cold here. We got a little bit warm last Thursday, maybe up to 60 and since then it's just gone downhill again and i think tomorrow or tonight we're supposed to get another chance of precipitation but this time instead of snow they're calling for ice so i am not happy about that i hope you are not having ice and if you do have ice or snow coming i pray that you all stay safe 
and warm. And don't drive if you don't have to. Stay at home and just stay all bundled up and cozy. That's what I'm doing. But Laura, I want to thank you for doing the Mass Monday with me today and the Spa-tastic Mass Monday collaboration. I appreciate you so much. I really like your channel. I love you and you are just a great friend to have. And she is. She's a wonderful wonderful person i just can't say that enough so be sure and go check her out be sure and enter with the word spa on the giveaway and comment on both channels in order to qualify to win and i will let you all know who won this fantastic spa day of goodies next monday but as for today that's all i have and as usual i wish you all a bless and happy day. Bye-bye.